hey guys welcome in this video i'm going to be telling you guys how to study effectively as a medical student study is very very essential it's an integral part of your journey as a medical student you want to become a doctor and stuff because the exams are usually very tasking where you have a lot of stuff to cover and so you need to study and you need to study right and one of the um things that we get to discover is that sometimes when you're preparing for an examination some things that you're going to be reading you're going to have the chance to read them only once you might not get the luxury of time to get back to those things so without further talk let's get into the video so the first thing is whenever you get home from class um this, this is an old time rule anyway but it really works whatever you've been taught that day say for instance you've been taught about um sympathetic mimetic drugs for instance in, ph in pharmacology um it is best to you know have some rest and then take some time to go over what you've been taught and even try to read it up and you know let it sink this is a very good way of committing on that particular topic to memory because you learned it today and you've um, gone through it once once again and so it's gonna stick this also helps you to avoid having a backlog of um, things to study because you can discover that at the end of the semester you have a lot of stuff that you should have um, gone through and by the time you're reading them very close to the exam it becomes like as if you are um, seeing these stuff for the very first time meanwhile you've been taught you actually attended the lectures on those so it actually helps to go over what you've been taught whenever you get home from school the second one is um this now whenever you uh, are done reading and probably you um, take a break or something like that whenever you come back from your break and you want to begin to read um again I, I think it's best for you to do this like before you begin reading the next stuff or maybe the next topic or um, the next PowerPoint or stuff. Just go back to what you read a um, few hours ago and try to test yourself on that um, topic or that subject and see if you can still remember what you read. If you test yourself and you see that you cannot remember some stuff. You can go back to your um your your books or your powerpoints however pdfs and check the answer and when you do this it's very very difficult for you to forget because you've read this you've tested yourself on it you've tried to recall and anywhere you went wrong you actually corrected yourself and got it right this way you're never ever gonna forget this always works believe me number three is this um if you know that you cannot in fact the environment where you study is very in fact the conditions and the environment where you study they are very very important if you know that you cannot understand or assimilate stuff in a noisy environment it is best to find a quiet place where you can easily um stay focused somewhere serene um you know to avoid distractions and if you know that you cannot you know some people go hey i i, I read better with music uh, while some people actually do not are not able to assimilate or understand anything when they are playing music while reading so if you know that you are not i'm um, gonna be able to focus in a noisy environment or somewhere um, um rowdy or whenever you have music playing then I think it's best to cut those things off and um, focus in a quiet place. Um, it could be in the library. It could be um, even if, if you want to read in your hostel, if you want to read in the classroom, wherever is best for you, then just do it. Now, this fourth one always works. Have a study group. Now, the importance of a study group cannot be overemphasized. And this is because if you are able to teach something to someone, it is very difficult for you to forget. If you teach someone biochemistry, maybe metabolism of lipids or amino acids or nucleic acids, for instance, and you successfully um, go through all of it without making any um, errors, then the chances of um, forgetting 
on your path are very, very slim. I'm saying this from experience and having a study group is very important because you might feel that if you are reading on your own, um, you have understood it perfectly. But when um, your, your study group uh, member or study group partner actually throws a question at you that you never expected, you can actually discover that, oh, I haven't really fully grasped um, this stuff. And so you have to go back to that um, particular subject or topic and refresh your memory. And actually, you might learn some new things from other people because no man is an island and you can learn a lot from people. Trust me. So when you now get to um, correct yourself, and you get to get um, learn more information from the next person, and you actually get to teach someone sometimes, all this collectively helps you um, to commit stuff to memory, and it always works, like I said before. So please, don't forget to try this out. Don't go solo, right? Um, no man is an island. So try to work with people, have a team, have a study group. It, it must not be a crowd. It could be just three people four people, even two people. And it, it really helps, right? Especially when you're preparing for exams. Um, number five is this very important one. You should be very intentional about your study. Whenever you are studying, don't just um, read or skim through. Try your very best to be more intentional, to um, read in between the lines and try to understand what you are reading, what you are actually consuming. My hand is getting tired because I'm holding this microphone. So be more intentional. Try to understand what you're going through. And in the same vein, try your very best to avoid cramming. Now, I understand as a medical student in medical school, there are many things you would need to cram. But please minimize this stuff because, I mean, sometimes you can actually do without it. Try to understand the logic behind some of the things you are reading. And if you do this, it sticks better, you know, and the knowledge you have you have garnered is going to help you in future rather than when you just cram stuff or, you know, yeah, cram. And just a few days later or a few hours later, everything has evaporated from your memory and you can no longer process or even recall um, what you have read previously. It's going to affect you in the long run. Then um, number six, which is last but not the least, um, please take God seriously. Like pray more frequently, you know, pray as though you never read and read as though you never prayed, right? It's an old time saying. So, you know, the Bible says God gave Daniel a spirit of excellence. So, yeah, everything is uh, possible with God. No matter how um, large a, a course outline is, with God, you can surmount it. And God can actually give you the ability to remember and recall things. He can also give you more understanding of the things you are reading. And you would always live to appreciate this. All right, guys. Thank you for sticking with me to the end of this video. Please like and subscribe. If you got value from this video and you want to see more of my videos, and also tell me in the comments which of these stuff work for you. And you can also recommend some other um, reading tactics to people that might be reading through the comments. Let's help each other in this community. Bye guys. Till we see you on the next video. Name is Breeze. I'll see you guys.